Hi everyone, bonjour. Uh, let's have a look at this uh, problem here, paper one question, the physics uh, standard level, November 2022, session number five. The same problem appeared, exactly the same problem appeared number six uh, in the high level paper in the same session. So an object of mass two kilograms is on horizontal surface. The object is pulled by a force of 12 Newton and accelerates at two meters per second squared, right? So we have here a key word here, acceleration. So there is a motion, there is acceleration here. And then the question asks, what is the coefficient of dynamic friction between the object and the surface? And friction here is the second key word. So obviously I need to assume or I need to know that this actually surface is rough surface, is not smooth surface. Okay, so there is a friction force. And usually, or I mean, the, the friction force is opposing the, <clears throat> the motion. So if the 12 Newton here is the force in this direction, right? So the motion, so this is basically the direction of the acceleration, right? So may I make I may like you know put another force here and I call it the friction force. Okay. Now if you look at your data booklet, IB uh, physics data booklet, you know you find a couple of formulas for friction force. The friction force in the static condition, which is is going to be <clears throat> the mu sub s times r, where r here is the reaction force or the friction force in the dynamic condition, which is our case here, <clears throat> because there is a motion, there is acceleration. So once the force could overcome the static friction, so the mean, that means the friction now becomes dynamic, which is much less compared to the static friction, okay? So, so the friction force in the case of dynamic is going to be mu sub d times r, where r here is the reaction force. So. If I would like to continue or complete this uh, free body diagram, so what we have here, we have force down mg, right? And we have a reaction force because of the contact between the object and the surface and the reaction force is perpendicular to the surface. So this is called the reaction force. Sometimes we call it the normal force and it takes a symbol capital N. It doesn't matter, N or R, this is the reaction force. Okay, so we need to find mu sub d, the coefficient of dynamic friction. So here, what we are going to do here, we are going to apply Newton, Newton's second law. Okay, so Newton's second law states that the net force, again, the net force or the resultant force or the unbalanced force is equal to the mass times acceleration. Okay, and since from the beginning, you know, we saw there is acceleration, so this is Newton's second law. Okay, now on the left hand side here, we uh, need to uh, visualize or we need to write the equation of all the vector sum of the net forces, right, in the system. Now we pick a direction, of course, we're going to pick the direction of the motion. So <clears throat> direction of the motion here is horizontally because the force is horizontal and we can understand that very clearly from the schematic here. So, and then we can put a convention of sign. So we can say, okay, this is uh, the, the positive direction and this is going to be the negative direction. It doesn't matter which, which sign you choose, it's up to you. So, so let's see. So on the horizontal direction, we have basically two forces, 12 Newton this way and friction force the other way, right? So, so the net force on the left-hand side is going to be 12 minus the friction force, which we don't know yet, is equal to the mass times acceleration. Uh, now the mass is given two kilograms, acceleration also is given two meters per second squared. So actually the right-hand side is known. So we can say, okay, so this is two kilograms times two meters per second squared. And then we can work now on the friction force, we can actually find it from here because this equation obviously is one in one unknown, right? So, so, so 12 minus eight equal four basically. So friction force is eight Newton, okay? So the friction force is eight Newton. 
then we need we, we can use this information or this result to find the uh, the coefficient of dynamic friction right so but here we have another problem here okay we don't know the reaction force right so again we can apply newton newton's first law here in the vertical direction why because there is no motion vertically so since there is no motion vertically it means the the, the net force is equal to zero in the vertical direction right so we can say now the R is balanced with mg. In this case, the reaction force here has to equal to mg since there is no motion upwards, right? So so now we, and then g here is the free fall acceleration, and in paper one we usually take it as ten and instead of nine point eight one. So let's take it as ten. So m here is the mass is two kilograms. G is ten. So we got the reaction force is 20. Now applying now the, the, the formula. So the friction force is equal to the coefficient of dynamic friction times R. So make uh, the mu sub D the subject. So it's going to be the friction force divided by R, which is 20 Newton. So eight over 20 or four over 10 or 0 0.4. So the answer here is B. 0 0.4 and since the coefficient of dynamic friction is a ratio of two uh, same quantities so friction force or sorry the coefficient is dimensionless okay so the coefficient of uh, dynamic friction or static friction is dimensionless it means it doesn't have any units because it is the ratio of two similar quantities okay so uh, by this, I conclude this problem. I hope it is helpful. Please feel free to leave any comments, questions, likes, and uh, have a nice day.